Hello everybody, it's me, and welcome back to the video. Now, in this video, I'm gonna be trying something that I haven't done in a... I don't think I've ever really done something like this just yet. I used to use, like, range attackers in LL and turn them into melee attackers and such, kind of like I did with Amudagon a little bit ago. But now, in this game, I'm doing it to Remy. Now, as you guys know, Remy has been, like such a cool doodle ever since i chained for it a, long, a while back i chained for it and i was i really really just loved remy as a whole and when i learned that it got rust i was so so happy and i just i've always liked volt and chan in general i always thought it looks really cool um and then it lost rust and i was really sad about that but i decided i'm not gonna be super sad about that all the time Eventually it will get water coverage because of course it summons thunderstorms, you know Eventually it's gonna have to get some form of water coverage, but until that day comes I'm gonna try every Volt Enchant I possibly can and today I'm gonna be trying out a melee Volt Enchant. I have attack and speed here very obviously with my lethal ornament and What's nice about that is it gives us a 30% increase in damage because we're not actually going off of our highest offensive stat. We're going off of 101 speed with 90 attack, which is really not that good. So the lethal ornament there is going to really, really help us with our damage output, which is going to be helpful to pick up good, good kills. And because of how quick we already are with our 101 speed, we're able to outspeed a lot of very scary things like, I think, uh, anything that's base 100, we're able to outspeed, which is really, really solid for us. Um... And then here with our moves, we have Electro Slash, Dark Slash, Daze, and Disarm. I wanted to go with a Gem Blast in the Disarm slot, just so I could be able to beat other Electric types. But I decided, eh, I'll just keep uh, Disarm, because it's it'll probably be useful at some point. Because things like uh, Kalintel kind of like to switch in versus um, Remy, I've noticed. And getting to hit them with a very strong Daze, or even a Disarm, is super duper good. I like how Electro Slash is just Shockwave, you know? But it also gives you that chance of paralysis and it's really really nice because these moves actually got buffed recently i think they used to be 75 power now they've all been boosted to 80 which is really really cool with us having our double double moves here is really solid and one thing i did just realize i kind of want to talk about i feel like single typing doodles and pokemon and lumians have are not gonna be better than dual typings i don't know because you get more options with dual typings um but I'm very excited to give this thing a shot. Now, I, I know this thing has Iron Slash, but there's actually no point for Iron Slash when I was looking at this thing. Because Daze already hits almost everything that Metal does, that, that you want to hit, you know? it uh, Metal hits Ice, Daze hits Ice. And Polar Geist, you have Dark Slash for that. Oh, you want to hit Crystal types? You have Daze for that, you know? So... I really just didn't see a reason for Iron Slash to exist, which is why we have Disarm here. I just think Disarm is really good too. You could also use Burning Orb in this slot or Gem Blast, as I said before. You can really use whatever you want in this last slot. These three moves are already pretty strong on themselves because it's kind of just like Henshim coverage. Plus Daze plus Electro Slash is very, very solid coverage, seeing as this hits Critters, this doesn't, uh, this hits Flyings, this doesn't, you know? This hits Crystals, this doesn't. The one thing that sucks about this is that you cannot hit Water types still. So, I honestly think this is going to be a very, very solid way to use a Volt Enchant. I have Smoldering Hood, Dusty Bandana, Ammer Trap, Fly, just to be a quick, with 30 extra speed, 21 extra attack, and pretty, pretty solid. Um, we do lose out on 35 health and 5 magical defense. But, I think that'll be okay, because of how quick Volt Enchant is, and be able to pick up some good KOs. And because of our Conductor ability, we're able to switch in and be immune to Spark-type attacks. I think if you're going to use an offensive-based Volt Enchant, you need to have Conductor. And if you're going to use a defensive-based one, it should either be Hidden Trait to set up Rain, or you can use Electrocute for a good defensive one with Shock Therapy. But, yeah, honestly, I'm pretty excited for today. Hope you guys are as well. And let's just hop into the first battle and see how well this Volt Enchant does. Let's go. Okay, and here we go into the first battle. Now, something about this that I like is that I decided to add an Owl. And I really think Owl is one of the best things to pair with Showcase things. Because it could just pivot, you know? It's just gonna pivot. And I think that's just a such a good attribute of an owl is it's able to pivot. Like if they go with a like this is a an incredible leadoff with me. Um something I'm a little worried about is definitely dealing with Taruma when I have Volt Enchant. I feel like it's just toxic actually. I'll throw out a toxic, why not? I'll take no damage from this. Yeah, 25% less, that's insane. Then we get the toxic off, which is nice. <laughs> So 
So, apparently I learned my headset was not playing the loudest audio. Um, so I've been having low audio for quite a bit. Zayashko Kibara, which this is actually we're going to throw out a daze with Volt Enchant. So, let's see. It's a quad effective move, and it's it's unbreakable Kibara, but quad effective with lethal ornament attack stuff. Let's see. I'm very curious. I'm very, very, very curious on this damage here. If it dies instantly, that's okay, I guess. Though, it would be amazing if I killed. You know, that did a lot less than I thought it was going to do. I should also live this. Oh, no. I th if it was Gem Blast, I think I lived. So, noted. You can't one-shot Kibara. That's, uh, real good to know. If I don't kill with Leaf Blade, I'm going to forfeit. Because I'm going to be a, a not very happy person if I don't kill it. If they go Jirisera, ter ter sick, okay. I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm at plus two right now. Do you think I live? I'm so curious. <laughs> Let's go. I survived. <laughs> Let's go. I got flinched. Yeah, they, uh, they're, they're hacking. It's, it's so clear they're cheating. And they need to be reported for this. Like, they need to be reported for hacking. It's just not fair. All the hacks I go through every day for these showcases. And they get a... This person is hacking. I'm at minus one. Ain't no way I tank piercing ice now. Oh, this person is a, an actual cheater. Oh, I lived? You know, I'll take that out. That's good. <laughs> Regardless of lingering being up, this is working out surprisingly well. I should probably just go to when I'm using Volta Chan again, honestly. If I live this attack from Xenoxious, I will get out victorious. Yep. Let's go. All I need to do is hit that Opal Pulse. We good. So we've learned quite a few things in this battle that Volta Chan ain't doing 50% to Kibara. Which is slightly sad. I really wanted it to get a one hit. But I'm fine with it not one hitting. Uh, I mean, it's an unbreakable Kibara. So, I guess that's fine. Though, I really wish it killed. <laughs> I guess later we could see if we fight an, an Endival, an Exival, something like that. And we can hopefully get a one shot there. Um, but regardless, yeah. It, the game's over because I also have Kalintel, which is immune to the poison. and can just Opal Pulse. But, ja, GG. Good game. Good, good game. This feels like deja vu. I feel like I just fought this person. They're like a fun though. They have, what, three earth types? Oh god. Speeder V. Oh god. It's over. Okay, they have, what, like 11 earth types? Oh my god. Uh, I think Springling just literally gets to win the game as soon as I send it in. I'm very worried about that. This guy, though. Like, this guy is scaring me. I can't let it click adrenaline, that's the thing. I'm gonna go this, I can't let them click adrenaline, right? I literally can't. Letting them click adrenaline is just a death sentence waiting to happen. So let's not do... I guess I could also hit and run with Owl and then Sprinkling Quick Strike. I mean, that could probably work. Maybe. All right. Is they actually go for a switch into Galactic? Okay. This is a daze from Volt Enchant out coming out. Let's see. They're gonna be they're like, why'd they go into Volt Enchant? I completely wallet. It. This is how I wall Volt Enchant. Not with Days, buddy. Days is really nice if you're able to hit metal types like Clangatang that wanna come in and kill you, you know? Remy coming in for that hit there. That's huge. Killing the Jalupi with some chip. Though that's literally the only thing it gets to do this whole game, so literally the only thing it gets to do this whole game is i can just sack it off i don't need it anymore because they have like 11 earth types okay literally they have literally they have listen would they go into the worst possible option being spear you or will they go into literally anything else okay they, they did the the better option i'm not letting you get your thingy mabobber up i'm going owl Okay, perfect. We can still use it if I disarm. <laughs> Let me 
foreign substance because foreign substance is huge here. I really do want to get poisons out, so huge poison. Okay. Uh, they're gonna adrenaline, and I don't want to deal with that. Plus two, blessed blade. What's that? Yeah, God, that's a very freaking strong move. Oh, I'm so worried about the adrenaline blessed blade. I'm so worried. Woof! 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 Okay, it's, it's, it's the bad one. Probably the. <sighs> Take out, which is good for me. Taking out here is good. Boom. Okay, now my Volton Chain is completely useless. Now I can send it in. It's insane. Like if if imagine if Volton had Vine Grasp, I'd be happy with the Vine Grasp. <laughs> I'm just gonna disarm Grinnivith item because I really want to do that. Get rid of this item. Oh my god. Okay. Nice. Shoot. Uh, bye. I'm gonna toxic it. I need to click toxic on this thing. Or even calming melody could work too. That should do nothing. Yeah, Owl's, uh, I think, a complete wall to this. What is. I, for I, like, completely lost my showcase on this thing, so I don't even know what it does anymore. I'm gonna try to go for my calming melody, though. This could be huge if I hit it. Nice! I get to go to Malzuri now and get for go for a big hit. My Rust. Actually, could Chilling Chorus as well. Let me go into Mal. Gotta go into Malzuri. I'm gonna have to Rust here, I think. Um, I don't really care if they go Thornet. They can go into Thornet. I can just go into Owl every time. I just need to take this thing down. Yeah, there we go. Taking that down there is really helpful because that opens up, uh, Remy to <laughs> disarm slightly stronger. Um, alright, I'm gonna go Owl. And they're probably gonna go into, or they're probably just gonna Piercing Ice. But we saw last time how much damage we took at, even at minus one, and we took almost nothing. So clicking Hit and Run here is solid for us. But they're a lethal ornament, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I can hit and run, though. Agreed. This person's speaking the truth. Also, I, w I have a question for you in the comments. How do you think the guardian ability works? Every time I see people trying to explain it, they don't explain it the co how it actually works. I'm very curious who actually knows. Uh, I'm gonna go Remy. I literally don't need it. I don't need it on the field anymore. Though, if they go into Teruma, I'm gone. Okay, they go into Reggie, Reggie, like, what? Draco, I think? Reggie, Reggie Rock, that's what it is. Oh my god, I totally freaking forgot. Huge disarm, no more Lucky Pebble, but I'm dead regardless, doesn't matter. That's a big disarm, though. That's a good disarm, honestly. I think I, that would be funny if I lived. Um, but how Guardian works, it's if you don't use a move that can do damage. Or no, it was just if you use a move in general. So you can switch in, um, underspeed something. You can switch in, take 25% less. Then if you get under, if you get outsped, you get your guardian boost again. But some people think it works like, oh, it's until you use a damaging move. I think that's never how it worked. Owl is like, I think one of the best doodles to use if you're trying to use a showcase. If you're trying to do a showcase in general. I just think it's genuinely one of the best things to use. Because of how good it is at getting your showcase in on the field for free so if you're trying to showcase something i recommend using owl but don't try to just foreign substance heal stall with it generally you want to just hit and run with it that's what i'm using it here for i have grufflin just because i like the fast pivot as well um but it's just nice to have a slower pivot because look see take less damage see and i get another free pivot later and i even took a super effective hit that's why i just think it's one of the best if not the best thing to bring into a showcase, if you're trying to showcase something. Oh, GG, not good. Not really fun. GG. So if you're trying to become like a content creator that wants to showcase like sweepers and stuff, or just stuff that is frail and you just get on the field safely, you should 100% pick up an owl because I think it's just one of the best things. But yeah, that was a good game. Let's hop to the next one. Okay, and here we go into the next battle. Now they have what? A Seam Knight, which we have a Dark Slash for, so that's going to be a general fun goal here 
Voltage Jet kind of goes crazy here, actually. Like, Electro, Dark, Dark, Dark. We can do some work here. Hold up. Wait, wait. Let me go Owl. Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Why does this thing exist? I hate Xenoxious. It's fine. I'll take about up to maybe half my health. No, 25% less is a lot, though. How much is my defense? <laughs> Never mind. I'm gone. I'm gone. Goo Blast? Ranged Xenoxious? I can heal later if I need to, so it doesn't really matter that I was hit by that move. Though I would have really rather not be hit by that. I can't really deal with Xenoxious, can I? Uh, bye, Killing Shell. <laughs> yeah. Is this... Yay, I love Xenoxious. I can kill it here with an Aurora. That was a 30 base power move. This has to kill. This is a 70. This is basically double. Move about here. That would do about that much plus 10. This has got to kill. There's better freaking killer. I'm going to go Ballistic. Yeah, they, they are actually a mixed Xenoxious. So taking that down is good. Though that leaves me very weak to the Seam Knight, but they don't know about the, they don't know about the Bolton Champ. They don't know. They do not know. Though I'm not going to get, like, any damage on it, so. What was the plan here? I was going to say, like, I entirely wall you, so what's the plan? Oh, you're a support one. Okay, I'll just stall it then. Are you an adrenaline? Okay, so I can't wake up some for some reason. Um, what are you gonna do? Does it have berserk? I think this thing has berserk, right? I'm just gonna go with this. I mean, I don't really see how you hit this. I haven't dealt with an exiled in a very long time, so I really don't know what I'm going up against here. It's been a very, very long time since I fought an exile. Well, as soon as this thing goes down, it won't do. I'll be fine. And I get... Cr uh, that just did way too much damage. I thought that was supposed to boost in damage whenever... Uh... I did think it was supposed to boost your damage. I, I probably should have just sacked Kill Intel there. Can it go down now? Okay. This is where we go crazy. It's time. Please. Electro Slash is huge here, dude. Biggest Electro Slash in the game. Please? I probably could just gone into this to begin with and I've been fine. Yo! Wait. Dark Slash, hold up. Super effective? It did about that much. Hold up. It's possible. I think it's possible. Come on. No! Please! Die! Oh, that did nothing. We good. Um... I'm gonna Electro Slash because you're gonna go and just spear you. Out of just fear of your Cerebopod dying because you know you can save it for later. And you wouldn't go into Steam Knight knowing that I have Dark Slash. You wouldn't go to any of these knowing I have Electro Slash. So you're gonna go to Spear, which is your most logical option, right? Sick, I killed it. Okay, wait. Hold up. Remy going crazy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. They're gonna go to Cryoterra probably because they don't want to take a hit on anything. Really? Oh no, you're gonna go for your thingy that's like I don't know what the move's called I forgot how do I beat this now that uh kill intel's asleep well the chance one hit this is a really good question this person is one of the most lame humans I've ever met using a c mate defensively smh um I'm gonna try to save Remy honestly I probably should just go and kill Intel first. Uh, I'm sad. It's fine. They don't have Shadow Lurk. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, it worked. I was like, oh my god, please let me hit this. I'm gonna Aurora Flash on their Adrenaline. Alright, yeah, that's fine. That is totally fine, dude. That is incredibly fine. That's fine. It's okay. How do I... I need to put the Seamite to sleep with Owl. And then I can take it down. I think that's what I have to do. I could also, like, Sylphid. But I don't think that really would matter at this point. 
And if they stay in and try to attack and live the takeout, and if they do end up living, I just get to go into Owl, so I'm not really entirely worried. I'm very worried about how I'm going to kill the Seam Knight, though, because I know the thing could do some good damage. Actually, do they go Seam Knight? Oh, sick. Um... Well, now I'm worried. How fast are you? 172 versus... All right, we got to go into this. Let's see. Here we go. <laughs> Electros. Do I outspeed? I doubt it. Yeah. I am going to die to that. Yeah. And they crit me too. Well, I think with that crit, uh, I don't think I can beat anything else here. And they have Jet Strike. Actually, no. I can go Owl. And I got, I got a Calming Melody this. This is what I got a Calming Melody. And then I got a Snowball. You don't have Kona Cold? If I hit this coming melee, I win. Sick. And now I just have to heal. Now I just click heal. This game's gonna come down to if I can beat Seam Knight or not. Which I am completely walled by Owl. Like, it's, it, I, it entirely walls me if, I, if it's Owl. Because I really, I really prefer Heat Bash on Owl. Because the seams are everywhere. You know? Okay, now we go for the hit and run. I, mean, I think we need to kill this thing first, but we only have one damaging move being hit and run. Heal jelly. I'm, like, very lost on what this thing is. It's snowball, so what are the chances it does actually kill me? And it actually... Oh, it does, it does wake up. I was gonna say, like, where was its waking up thing? What are the chances that I could outspeed it? Because maybe it's Sylph... It's Jet Strike, Snowball, Sylphid, Harmony. It's literally not going to do any damage to me. So it's it's faster than... It's, f it's faster than Gruffle. Um, if you Sylphid, I'll Sylphid, buddy. You want to play this game? I'll play it. I'll play your game of Sylphid. Yeah, I can do that too. How do I kill this? I don't know how I'm gonna kill this without like risking anything dying. You have 95. There's no way I beat this. They'd have to click um, Spirit Claws. I, I literally can't beat this thing. I literally can't. I need to kill it. <laughs> but they're just gonna spam scissor guard. Please. Yeah, they're, they're not ever gonna let me get a free hit on this thing. Though now that Sling's on the field, we can do some huge damage. So that's all we really need to do now. We need to get half health with our ambush. Take an iron slash. I did not do half health. I, I, did, I did not. Uh, I did not do half health. Oh, is this, this the same person? This is the same person, isn't it? This looks like a team I can get behind. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So I've realized something. That this is literally my only defense versus, like, uh, Seam Knights and Seamstresses. Uh, I really should have made this slower. I wish I gave this a uh, stone necklace and something. That would have been a bit better than what I have now. But I'll leave with it anyway. You're gonna go Yarn Snare lead with Y. Oh. Okay. This is a fairly int an egg. Okay, let me toxic this egg then. <laughs> Ow, that tickled. That was without, by the way, that was 10 damage without my guardian boost. So I literally wall this thing for ages at a time. I can hit and run though. Did I still outspeed it? Why are you shock therapy after a single chip of toxic? You're gonna take more damage because of that. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, can I hit and run for once? Thank you. Maybe he'll click crackling static again. I get the boost with volt enchant. Maybe. But then I don't think I can kill it. Why would you click the not very effective move? Is he like... Am I getting outplayed? This is crap I need to know. Whatever. It's fine, my whole team's weak to Brawler, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, 
Yeah, he just refuses to switch it out. I don't really know about melee voltage yet, man. You were you're like really relying on um you are really relying on electro slash, you know? And my team does threaten uh earth types pretty well. So it takes to its determination. There's an unraveled boost. Equality. Okay. Well, that was unexpected, but never not welcomed. Determination Jelly Unraveled's kind of cool, actually. That's kind of cool. I'm, I'm down for that, actually. That's kind of cool. If I can kill Monolug, I think Voltachan could go crazy. I just, if they go Monolug, I'm just going to instantly Aurora Flash and just not care about the 74% I'm going to take. That'd be a lot of damage, though. They go Tanella, which I can just go into Grufflin for. Do they click sleep spells? Oh, wait, can I just go into you? Because you do, like, what, 70 million damage? Support number one. What's who's support number two? Oh god. This ain't gonna be fun. Alright, I will take 85% on the 40 base power move when you didn't even have an item. Sick. Okay, unless you're a swift hook. Are you swift hook? Nope. So if melee voltage can't kill that cerebopod, I think I would have been a bit. I would have been a bit happy. I would have been a bit of a happy camper. Seraphine, he's really freaking happy that this exists. How do I beat this? That's a good question. I need to go Remy, and I need to hit and run into Remy, and then hope he's like, oh my, oh my god, I can click the water type move. So right now I need to. Uh, 13 squared health. Uh, I need to hit and run and go into Volt and Champ. And then just hope he doesn't go Monologue. Or I could just click Daze, honestly. But I think Electrosash is the better option. I think Electrosash will pick up the KO, whereas Daze would just barely leave it at 1 HP. I don't need to actually KO this. I could go for the Daze if I don't want to risk Monologue coming in. But I don't really care. Well, you know, maybe I care a bit more than I thought. I, I, I took less damage. That means I took no damage. That's how it works. Let me just toxic. Just taking no damage. Oh. Please let me click toxic. They're going to be like, oh my god, I can break him. Probably. There we go. That's the toxic I was looking for. I could probably heal, then hit and run, then go into Springling, Leaf Blade, threaten his whole team. So, let me heal up, then I'll hit and run. Is they going to Seraphine? This guy's really hyped about Seraphine, you can tell. I'll hit and run then. I did kind of say I didn't really want a toxic stall with Owl, but honestly, it's just doing its job and it's working out. Okay, now, this guy has done every obvious play so far, so what if I click Daze this time? How much did I do? <laughs> what? What? SQ me? Okay, maybe range is just slightly better going off of its 140 defense, whereas I have 90 attack, so maybe I should be realizing these things a bit sooner. Oh no, I got predicted. It's like the whole battle is gonna end because of that one specific move that this guy decided to click. 
all I gotta do is murder this. You know what sucks about being a solo electric type is that any earth type pretty much just walls you. So, it really sucks having to deal with something like that. You know? You know, I'm gonna live this freaking capsize and I'm gonna electro slash you. You got no chance, buckaroo. I get, what, 19%? That's crayons. Yeah. That did a lot more damage than I thought it was going to do, though. Like, the Electro Slash in itself is so strong, you know? Oh my god! I know I'm lethal and all, but I really should not be doing this much damage with Tunella. I mean, you can't put me to sleep, so if they try to put me to sleep, this is huge. I mean, really Dark Slash then? I should do a lot of damage, about the same amount that Disarm did. Please go for, like... Oh god. Oh god. This is the greatest battle of all time, dude. You gotta love fighting things that just spam healing moves, right? Uh, this... I could get the daze and they punch themselves, but... I'll just Dark Slash. You know, if someday Volta Chant gets access to Toughen, that'd be sick. So now they decide to plant sap, get very minimal health back, and plant sapping me the other turn would have been a way better option. So now this lets me go springly and throw out a disarm. I mean, I don't think disarm is actually gonna kill. No, disarm did like eleven thousand percent with Volt Chant, so clicking disarm is fine. What? I understand. Like, okay, I really should not be acting surprised. It's it's Sling. We all know what Sling does. Sling is it's, it's the most powerful entity in, in the multiverse. I just don't take damage. Owl and Sling are a fun combo, though Toxic and Ice types exist, which is why I have Kill Intel, and then Fire types exist, which is why I have Malzuri, then Earth types exist, which is why I have Owl. You know, it's like a huge circle of, I'm not gonna die and you can't stop me. This guy's trying his best to survive, but... As soon as I get to go springly and throw out a leaf blade, you basically lose, and I'm super sorry you gotta realize that. What's he doing, man? Come on, buddy. What you doing, buddy? He's taking like 11 years to decide one move that is just, hey, I'm gonna go to monologue because I'm original. Ow. I bet his mindset there was, what's he going to do now that I went into Seraphin, huh? I still have my Rush boost. And then he, like, forgets that, like, Rush doesn't work like that. And I'm going to get broken by this thing because I'm getting hacked by Para. Sick. Okay, now we can go Springling. Yeah, and if you don't know, Rush doesn't really work like it did it used to. So basically, he only gets a 50% speed boost on the first turn he's in. And he doesn't have it now, so I get to kill it with a Leaf Blade. It's all about tactical planning. You know, if, if Voltage got crystal cut, like, I feel like if Wish dove more into the melee side of Voltage, he could have gotten crystal cut, and melee Voltage would have been a bit better, you know? But yeah, that's GG. Good game. Good game. Good, good game. And with that, we're ending off the showcase. Hope you guys did enjoy. But apparently, I'm a noob. Don't really know why, but it's fine. But if I'm gonna be honest, I feel like. Mm, if melee Volt Enchant, if melee Volt Enchant didn't feel better than the magic one. I thought it would be maybe a, possibly a bit better because of the coverage options it has. It doesn't feel that much better. Like, I, the Electro Slash is still really, really strong. It's a very, very good move for it. But Dark Slash Days, imagine if ranged Volt Enchant had access to both um, Chi Blast and Dark Blast. It would kill to have that coverage, you know? It could drop Jet Blast, hit Spirit types and Light types, and then it would drop, um, what, Climate Shot for Chi Blast, and then it'd go crazy. But alas, that's not gonna happen. It, it I'd probably give it a four out of ten. It did, it didn't feel very good, but it's still very fun to play. But yeah, hopefully everyone enjoyed, and I'll see everyone in the next one. Bye bye.